Hi, I'm Chatura. Welcome to my demonstration of the 3D Jenga game. In this Unity game project, I have built a dynamic and interactive Jenga game according to the provided specs. First, I will demonstrate the playable version, then I will walk you through the code. As you can see, the game features three stacks of Jenga blocks, each representing a different grade level. To populate these stacks with blocks, I have integrated the given API. To make it easier for players to identify the grade associated with each block, I have placed labels in front of them. The game allows players to rotate the camera around the stacks using orbit controls uh, by simply holding left mouse button and rotating. I always keep the first stack in focus by default, ensuring that player can observe the blocks up close. To navigate between the stacks, user can press these buttons here um, in the left below corner for more convenience they can also use left and right arrow keys to switch between the stacks when navigating the camera is smoothly transitioned from the current stack to the next stack um, to provide players with more information about a specific block i have implemented a feature that activates upon a right click um, when uh, when the user right clicks on a block player uh, they, they can access additional details that are available in the api response moving the mouse away from the click block will automatically clear the information panel next i have implemented the game mode called test my stack players can activate it, this mode by clicking this right top button um, in this mod all the glass blocks are removed from the selected stack triggering realistic physics simulation within the game Ad finally i have added an additional feature to reconstruct the tested stack and it can be activated by clicking the button over here next let's have a closer look at the code implementation um, to begin, we have a single game scene that serves as the core container for all the game components. Our code base follows the standard uh, structure of a unit project with organized folders and files. Um, within the assets folder, we can find important resources such as the font files for the game's text elements, materials for different block types, glass, wood and stone, um, then in the prefabs we have a prefab that represents a Jenga block which we will be using in the game scene and in the scenes folder we have the Jenga game scene which is opened up here uh, moving on to the scripts folder we have a collection of scripts um, uh, that control various aspects of the game let's start with the camera controller script um, this is responsible for handling um, camera uh, rotation and also the movement when switching between stacks it ensures a smooth camera transitions um, while providing a dynamic weaving experience um, next we have the Jenga block script which holds all the information uh, about a specific Jenga block and it includes functions that displays um, the blocks details when the user clicks on a block um, the Jenga block data class is used to store data retrieved from the API uh, about a single uh, Jenga block um, it organizes the information in a structured manner making it easier to process and display in the game to convert the api response um, into a list of jenga block data objects um, we have this jenga block data wrapper and this wrapper simplifies the process of working with the api data um, the core functionality of the game is controlled by the Jenga game manager script. It starts by calling the API and storing the response using the Jenga block data wrapper. The script then 
sorts the blocks based on the given criteria and checks for blocks uh, with incorrect entries and after validating um, it uh, places the blocks based on the uh, places the blocks in this in the specified stack considering the mastery level to determine the material of the block uh, whether it's a glass wood or stone then uh, finally the blocks are arranged in the stack in layers with alternating rotations uh, which is the typical jenga block arrangement um, then we have this reset my stack script which handles removal and uh, reconstruction of um, of existing blocks in a given stack uh, basically this uh, script is used after activating the test my stack game mod uh, the test my stack game mod or, or this script is responsible for the game mod itself um, when the corresponding button is pressed um, it finds and destroy all the blocks with the specified tag which is the glass in this case um, finally we have the tooltip manager this script displays relevant details about the block when the player right clicks on it throughout all these scripts I have utilized a standard uh, doc strings and inline comments to ensure the readability and the maintainability of the project uh, moving to the sprites directory um, I have included images for the sky and the table uh, which adds visual appeal to the game finally we have the streaming assets folder uh, here we have a backup API response file that I utilized for testing purposes um, I think that concludes uh, my <coughs> walkthrough of, uh, of, of my unit implementation. I hope you enjoyed the overview of the code and the thought process behind it. Um, thank you for watching.